So alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are actually going to test out the Ryobi 13 amp snowblower. Now this is model number RYAC802 and it is 120 volts, 60 hertz, 13 amps. But today is the first snowfall, uh, real snowfall of winter in Illinois. And we got about 6 inches and it's a mixture of snow and rain right now. And so we are going to test this out and see what this actually does in the conditions that we're in right now. There we go. There's my power. That's what we got when we first bought the house. It's time to upgrade. Alrighty, so that was a major disappointment. I ended up, sorry, I just got done. I ended up uh, shoveling the, the entire driveway because this uh, snowblower was unable to do that because of the lack of power. I really want to get the 40 volt snowblower, the one that's uh, for selling for 300 right now. That comes with one 40 uh, volt battery, and uh, I really want I really want to get that one. I, I don't want to deal with the extension cord. Nope, this is the. This is the 20 inch 13 amp uh, corded electric snowblower. They have two left in stock at my Home Depot. And uh, this is $150. It is on sale for $150, which the regular price is $180. Now this is a, a cleaned paved surface only. Max's extension cord length is 150 feet. So I guess after that you lose power. And blowing capacity pounds per minute is 400. Now of course it's snowing and raining right now so it's pretty much turned to ice and uh, and yeah it, it it was it was fun to deal with but yeah uh, this thing uh, this thing it's it's a good product but for it, it's just not powerful enough to deal with a lot of situations it's mainly good for dealing with uh, fluff snow that's just freshly uh, was laid and so that's pretty much it. Today was a failure when it comes to the product. I really want to get the 40 volt one because uh, that one has a lot more power <coughs> and it and it's cordless. So I really want to get that. It's $300, so I might get that this uh, this winter. But that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.